Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading for Taurus. This is going to be for October 2023. You can apply this to any replacements because anything can come up. So we're going to take a look and see how your spiritual journey is going. And then we'll finish off the week to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Taurus people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too. Just a quick note that uh, be careful uh, impersonators on TikTok. There's a couple of accounts that's impersonating me, asking people for money. That is not me. Uh, report them, okay? So Taurus, tell me about Taurus here. What's going on with Taurus? What is going on with Taurus here? How is Taurus's spiritual journey going? How is Taurus's spiritual journey going for October 2023 for Taurus? For Taurus. So we have the Six of Pentacles here. That's your energy right there, Taurus. Eight of Pentacles. Lots of Pentacles here. So like, I feel like a lot of you guys are really focusing on your work at this time here. Yeah, you guys are focusing a lot on work. I do feel like a lot of the money that you guys are making here is being um, put towards charity. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this is like, in a way, good for your karma here because I do feel like it's also a way of paying off your karmic debts, whether it's from this lifetime or from another lifetime. You know, some of you guys could have, you know, you know, taking things, taking things from people, and they feel like karma is balancing out for you here, Taurus, in a way. The Four of Cups. Ten of Cups, wow. And the Page of Cups and the Five of Pentacles here. This is interesting. Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Five of Pentacles here. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I, I feel like there's some sort of karmic debt being paid off here. You know, I do feel like, you know, perhaps you might feel sorry or that you're sorry that uh, you could have taken something from somebody here. I mean, this could be some sort of past life uh, karmic thing that you've been dealing with here. But I feel like a lot of that's being cleared out or that karma is being balanced out here for you. Okay. There's definitely some sort of... Uh, uh, an apology or some sort of regret. Maybe you did something or maybe your past life did something to like a, a group of people here, you know, maybe took something from them. And now you are doing it in a right way to repay that back by being charitable. Okay. Tell me the five of pentacles here. We have the seven of swords. Tell me the page of cups and the wheel of fortune here. Yeah. I do feel like someone here is definitely paying karma or that someone here is balancing out their karma here because I do feel like maybe you had a vision of your past life. You saw that you could have taken something from somebody here. I don't know. Uh, somebody here could have had a past life as a pirate here. Yeah, uh, a pirate. Uh, and, you know, uh, you know, pillaging, taking, deceiving, uh, you know, stealing. Uh, and, and, and someone here is definitely uh, paying that karma back. Uh, that karma is balancing out at this time here. The Ten of Cups. With the Eight of Swords. Because I feel like you're worried that this will affect your family. You know what I mean? Uh, this will affect, you know, your future family, your children. And I feel like you don't want that to happen. Uh, four Cups. Uh, we have the Chariot, Cancer Energy. Okay. Uh, the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I mean, this lifetime that you're living here is completely different from your last lifetime here. Yeah, I do feel like you're going through a major karmic cleanse here. I do feel like, like uh, your karma is balancing out here, okay? So, um, you know, if this is not you, it could be someone that's in around you that's dealing with this here, Taurus. But there's a sense of moving forward. Yeah, there's a sense of moving forward or the, the, the karma is being paid out or cleared out here. Uh, what else do we have here for Taurus? What else does Taurus need to know? What else, uh, 
uh, what does Taurus need to work on, look out for here for October 2023 for Taurus, for Taurus. Okay, the Ace of Cups here in the world, okay. Seven of Cups and the Six of Cups. Okay. I do feel like a karmic cycle is closing out here for you. I'm, I'm surprised that Justice card is not out. I feel like the Justice card can't, should be out. Two of Swords and the Page of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Let's see. Yeah, I do feel like some sort of karmic cycle is being closed out. Some sort of past life karmic cycle is being cleared out here or that it's being purified here uh you know some of you guys could be doing some energetic work surrounding this here tell me about the uh, two, uh page of wands with a page of swords two of swords and the yeah so look at that balance uh, ba uh, karma is being balanced out here this is going to help the souls of your ancestors here too yeah, this is going to help the souls of your ancestors here. You know, if your ancestors does come from, a, uh, you know, a pirate background or, you know, a, a lineage of pirates here. I, I just get the feeling that somebody here was a pirate. Yeah. Um, Justice, Libra, Energy, Page of Swords, Libra, Page, Gemini, the uh, Six of Cups. I don't know. Some, some, you know, some of you guys might have owned slaves here in the past life here too, or that you know this could be in this past this lifetime here, uh, where you could have owned slaves or something like that. Page of Swords and Six of Cups here, Seven of Cups here, and the Three of Cups. Yeah. So whatever you're doing here, whatever karma that's being balanced out here i feel like it's not only benefiting you i feel like it's it's benefiting your ancestors here too yeah this is not only benefiting you it's benefiting for uh, your ancestors here the world the queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces ace of cups here and the queen of wands you know uh there is new love coming into your life here too this is interesting because I, if you guys are doing like past life regression work here, I feel like you could be meeting someone that's going through a similar experience as you. And you could be, you know, you could be talking about this with somebody in like these like chat groups or these like meetup groups or something like that. Okay. But whatever this is, like I said, I feel like this is not, this is just not a huge benefit to you, but this is a huge benefit to your ancestors here too. So I do feel like, you know, you are doing some sort of great work here or that you're about to do some sort of great work here, you know? So, um, so, uh, Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.